What's going on, special people? Glad y'all could join a brother. Oh, it's on today. I pray you endure this entire video. Because uh, it's definitely going to build you up. If you're serious about your salvation. This is for the perfecting of the saints. Uh, so all only the, the serious need uh, to attend this class. Only the serious that seeking God with all your heart and all your soul uh, in the face of Jesus Christ. Only the serious need to attend this class. And, uh, oh yeah. Oh, there's so much going on. I just have to flip a coin on where to begin. You know what I'm saying? Uh, little review. We know that the law is the, is the manna. The law of Moses is the manna. Uh, the Bible reveals that. And so, uh, well, we want, we want to enter into Canaan. We want to eat the fruit of the land. So you want to walk in the spirit, live and move and have your, your being, you know, through the power of the Holy Ghost, the, the anointing of God. That's the goal, man, because that's your, that's your perfection. That's your glory. I mean, that's the presence of the Lord with you daily. Don't you want that? That's why I said it. Only the serious need to attend this class. Those that love God with all their heart, mind, soul, and strength. That's Mark 12, verse 29 through 31. Jesus Christ said, Hear ye, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, all thy mind, all thy soul, and all thy strength. So the law is supposed to be our footstool. So we might well start right there. Is that right, is that all right class? The law is to become our footstool. You say, what do you mean by that, King Soup? Man, oh, let's get with it. Let's start with, uh, I guess, Genesis 4. Genesis 4 and probably verse, let's see. Genesis 4, mm, where we want to start? Verse 7. Is that cool, class? It says, uh, if thou doest well, and that's what we want, right? We want to please our, our Heavenly Father, right? So he can say, enter thou into the joy of the Lord, right? We want him to say, well done, at the end of our, our journey, right? Right? Because this world is a wilderness, man. It's a journey to get to perfection, okay? But we want the Lord to say to us, well done. You know, we want to present ourselves a, a living sacrifice, a sweet smelling savor unto the Lord our God through Christ Jesus. Right? We got to become new creation so he can receive us. You know, um, if thou doest well, shall not shalt thou not be accepted? See, that's what we want, right? We want the Lord to accept us in the beloved Christ Jesus. Ephesians 1 and 6. Okay. He's talking to Cain right here, y'all. And he says, And if thou doest not will, okay, y'all, playing attention, clear, if thou doest not will, sin lieth at the door, and unto thee shall be his desire. Sin desires to dominate us, y'all. Sin desires to eat us as wheat. As uh, Jesus told Peter, um, Satan desires to sift you as wheat. So the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. We know that, right? John chapter 10, Jesus Christ told us that. Steal, kill, and destroy. That's his desire to devour us, y'all. The adversary go about what? Seeking whom he may devour. He, he desires to devour us. Because remember, man is of the dust and the Lord told us in Genesis 3 that uh, Satan is meat will be dust so Satan wants to eat he wants to devour vic he wants victims okay he wants prey okay and so that's why we don't want to be of the dust we don't want to be of the flesh uh, we don't want to be devil's food they got in the store devil's food this devil's food cake so on and so forth 
So we don't want to be food for the devil, for the enemy, right? Um, and we start desiring evil things. The Bible tells us lusting after evil things. So my people like to gamble. You know, that's an evil thing. That can destroy a person, destroy your household, you know, destroy your future. Gambling puts you in debt, cause you to want to commit suicide, cause you want to commit robberies. So a lot of people... Um, have addictions um, to destruction, you know. That's why he said he sent his word to heal us and deliver us from our destruction. You know, our ways, according to the flesh, are destructive, destructive to us, y'all. You know, uh, video game. We say we want to eat, drink, and rise up to play. You know, that's our desire, which is an evil desire. That's not seeking the Lord's faith. That's not becoming perfect. That's not walking up, right? Then he told Abraham, walk before me and be thou perfect. Abraham's your first, um, that's the first Hebrew. Y'all know that. That's the first father of faith. Uh, Abraham. And uh, we're supposed to follow him. You know, Abraham's seed is Christ. So we want the, uh, what is that, Genesis 28.4. The blessing of Abraham is Christ. If we do well, if we do well, we get the Christ, the fullness of Christ. Okay. Let's finish this out, y'all. And uh, sin wants to desire to devour us, eat us, play with us, you know, destroy us. You know, like a cat. Y'all seen them catch, play with the prey, the, the mouse. You know, it, it, you know some some of these uh, uh, predators will play with the prey before they devour them. And that's what the devil would do to us. You know, if we allow him. How do we allow him? By not doing well. You know, by not ruling over the enemy. We supposed to have dominion. In Christ, the scriptures come to give us dominion. What's dominion? To be in the image and likeness of God. Genesis 1, 26, 27. Brothers and sisters, having dominion, that's what we read now, actually. It says, sin lieth at thy door, the enemy, the wicked one lieth at the door. And unto thee shall be his desire. He desires us, y'all, to possess us, right, to play with us, to destroy us, steal, kill, and destroy, and to rule over us, have dominion over us. That's why we need the cross of Jesus Christ to destroy the devil's playground. Right? To destroy the strongholds of the devil. The Bible said, that for this cause, the Son of God, the Son of Man, was manifest to destroy the works of the devil. He came to destroy the works of that we can give no place to the devil, y'all. Let's not give the devil his desire. Which is our spirit, soul, and body. So these devils can totally possess us. Next thing you know, you got all timers. You know what I'm saying? He's going to paralyze you. You can't even call on the name of Jesus. So many of our people this day are so bound. They can't call on Jesus' name. And then y'all done had those uh, 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 moments even in your sleep. Well, you, you know what I'm saying? Y'all know what I'm talking about? With uh, uh, that paralysis, with them demons take a hold of you. I, I heard a mighty great lion speak on that once before. When well, you can't call on the name Jesus, we had that. And they pressure you. That's You can feel that pressure on your chest. It's like they sitting on you. And you be trying to call out. And you can't call out. That's your spirit bound. What that is, is your spirit being bound. Because your spirit... In Christ, you know, Christ supposed to dwell in your spirit. Your spirit supposed to be your muscles. That's your muscle, man. Your, your, remember, Christ dwell in your spirit, your inner man, so we can worship God in spirit and in truth. Your spirit supposed to be strong and sturdy. Your spirit can sustain your infirmity, according to scriptures. Right? It's through your spirit that you rule over the devil. It's through your spirit that you have dominion in the earth. It's through our spirit 
We say, unto them gave he power to become the sons and daughters of God through our spirit. God is a spirit. And they that worship must worship man in spirit and in truth. It's your spirit, man, that's got to be strong. You got to get to the gym. You got to work out. What? Fasting, prayer, witnessing, Bible study, study and show yourself approved. This is your workout. This is your goals gym. Right? Otherwise, uh, you're not going to do well. You're going to have a weak spirit. You know, almost as if your spirit does not exist. Your spirit can be that weak. You can have the Holy Ghost, but it's like you don't have the Holy Ghost. You, Because you're weak. That's all it is. That's weakness. Your, your spirit is in a famine. Starvation. De uh, basically desolate. Because you're not doing those things that you should be doing. You're not doing well. The scripture just told us. If you do well, you will be accepted with God. And the scriptures is the instruction on how we are to do well. To live by every word of God. Matthew 4.4 4. The words of God are supposed to be more to us than our necessary food. According to the flesh. You know, that fasting and prayer is very important. Growing in the spirit is very important. It's essential. Let's finish this. And, and, uh, and unto thee shall his desire be. The devil desires you to stay asleep, to stay passive. Right? To stay foolish. To stay slothful. That he desires us to be feeble-minded, to walk crooked, to be blind, right? To not represent the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. He desires us to be crazy, bugged out, clowning, a comedian, you know, all into sports, all into the world, corner-minded. The devil desires us. You know, to get us locked into something. Like I said, gambling, video games. You know, to get us where well, you ain't pursuing the Lord. Where well, you not seeking God. He wants you to stay asleep. He wants you to stay dead. Because you sleep and dead when you are not seeking God with all your heart, all your soul, all your strength. All your mind. Right? And remember, he gives us the power to do this. But you've got to cooperate. So that's what we're reading. So the sin won't, it wants to desire you as his food. You're food to sin. And sin and the devil is one and the same. Sin, the devil, and let me throw this in there. Self. Self is the flesh. The flesh man. That's why you must be Come a living sacrifice, crucified with Christ. That's what the Bible's all about. The Bible's the way out, man. And again, so that's how you know who the deceivers are, because they ain't sticking with the Bible. They ain't sticking with the Word. The Bible itself is God's power, God's glory. All right, that's the knowledge of God, the wisdom of God, the faith of God, the Holy Bible, King James 66, red letter. So anybody ain't with that, they ain't on your side. I mean, it's simple. Let God be true. Every man a liar. He simplified it. The Bible's about trusting God or don't trust God for the unbeliever. The Bible show you plainly. If we trust him, we have a blessing. We have a reward. If we deny him, he will deny us. God cannot deny himself. The Bible is God himself. Revelation 19, verse 13. And his name shall be called the Word of God. If we exalt him, we know this. If we don't exalt him, our heart is set on backsliding. Hosea 11, 7. Simple as that. It's already written, y'all. Your destiny is already written. Now, what, what path you take, he done told us, choose good and life or evil and death. There's only two paths. 
Good in life is the Bible. James 1.17. Every good and perfect gift cometh down from God, from the Father above, whom there is no verbs, neither shallow or turn. So we're going to believe God or we're going to believe the devil. Flesh and blood. Flesh and blood cannot reveal. That's why flesh and blood got to go to the cross, which is the law. The law must become your footstool. That's what we read. The law must become your footstool. All right, let's read this. And unto thee shall be his desire, and thou shalt rule over him. That's what it's all about. We supposed to rule. That's doing well. That's doing well. Okay, then let's go back. Let's go back a book. Genesis uh, 3, 15, 16. Let's see what we just read. Genesis 3. There ain't no other book on the planet like this Bible, man. There ain't no other, but this is your eyes. This is your ears. This is your mind. <laughs> the Bible. Remember the volume of the book. Psalms 40, verse 6 to 11. Jesus Christ was in the volume of the book. Is the volume, which is God. God is the book. Oh, we simplifying it, man. God is the book. God is the Bible. Those that believe can go forward. You who don't believe, this, you can dismiss yourselves. Dismiss. Huh? Genesis 3, 15, 16. And I will put enmity between thee and the woman and between thy seed and her seed. Yeah, this is uh, truth versus lies. Uh, John 8, 44. Jesus said the devil had nothing in me. That's what this is. This is the Christ versus Satan. When it's all said and done, it's Christ versus the devil. Right? Uh, let's finish this out. Uh, it shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. Unto the woman, he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy conception in sorrow. Thou shalt bring forth children right and thy desire our desire this is the woman's desire which is Zion the church shall be to thy husband and our husband is is God Jesus Christ uh, Isaiah 54 5 right Isaiah 54 5 right and this is a uh, first Corinthians 11 3 the head of every man is Christ the head of the woman is the man. Right here. The head of the woman, we the woman as a as a body. As the body of Christ, we are the woman. He's the bridegroom. So he's the husband. He marries us. Right? When we present ourselves perfect and complete in Christ. So we have to grow into this. The perfection of the saints. And he shall rule over thee. This is how we get the victory over sin. All right? When Christ becomes our head. 1 Corinthians 11, 3. He has to become our head. Our king. Our lord. Our savior. Right? In him we must live and move and have our being. Right? He's the victory for us. Right? Uh, like we must marry the Lord. For him to be our husband, that's a marriage. We must marry... The Lord. Uh, we can get that in the New Testament too. First Corinthians 15. Let's go on over there. And uh, what do we want to start? 22. First Corinthians 15, 22. Um, for as Adam and Adam, Adam and Eve, y'all, all died because of that sin. Remember that sin brought in a curse. So our spirit dropped. It fell into the the flesh, right? So we couldn't worship God in spirit and in truth, right? Till Jesus Christ came. The woman seed that we just read, the woman seed, right? And the serpent seed, and the woman seed is Christ, okay? Her husband. That's the woman seed, Christ, her husband, okay? Right? Just like the example of that is Mary. Mary gave birth to the Christ. 
who was her Lord. Right? So the church uh, is as Mary, who gives birth to the Christ, Zion, right? Who is our Lord and our Savior. Right? For as in Adam all die, according to the flesh, yeah. Even so in Christ all shall be made alive according to the Spirit, yeah. Right? But every man in his own order, Christ the first fruits afterward, they that are Christ at his coming, then cometh the end when he shall have delivered up the kingdom to God, even the Father, when he shall have put down all rule and all authority and all power, for he must reign, right, as Son of God, right, till he had put all enemies under his feet. See that? That's the law. He put till he put the law under his feet. So till the law becomes his foot, then he nailed that law to his cross. Colossians chapter two, verse six through fifteen. The law the law was nailed to his cross. That was the enmity, y'all. That was our enmity. See this? Let's read verse twenty six. That last enemy that shall be destroyed is death. See that? That was a law. Death is a law. See, death must be under our feet. Right? For right, that's the law of sin and death. Romans 8, 1 and 2. See that? That's our dominion over sin. We just read in Genesis 4 7. We're supposed to rule uh have dominion over sin. That's doing well. And we accept it with our God. Remember, we can't get this victory except Genesis 3, 15, 16. The Lord become our husband. You know, Isaiah. 54 and 5. He got to become our husband. We got to marry him. How do we marry him? Through his son, Jesus Christ. Through his salvation that he was giving us. Because Jesus Christ is the repair of the breach. But also, I mean, we can, I don't know how much time we get. Uh, but Esau was a breach birth. Esau breach. We can call that a, a breach birth. And Esau came out first. Remember, Jacob had a hold of his heel. Because Jacob had a hold of his heel because Jacob knew he was supposed to be the firstborn. Esau breached that birth. And we see that with, uh, who was that, Judah's sons? And Genesis, what was that, Genesis 39? Judah's sons? Uh, who was that? Let's, go, let's try to find that, man. I, I don't want to be stumped. I think that's Genesis 39. 39? What did I say? Genesis 39? No, it ain't Genesis 39. Uh, maybe it's... Uh, 38. Genesis 38. Let's go and get that. And it came to pass at that time that Judah went down from his brethren and turned into a certain uh, Adamite whose name was Hira. And Judah saw there a daughter, is this what I want? Of a certain Canaanite whose name was Shula. And he took her and went into her, and she conceived and bare a son and called his name Er. And he, she conceived again and bare a son and called his name Onan. And she yet again conceived and bare a son and called his name she, Is this what I want? He was, and she bare him. And Judah took a wife of Er. His firstborn, whose name was Tamar, and Er, Judah's firstborn, was wicked in sight of the Lord, and the Lord slew him. And Judah said, I'm going to go to my brothers. That's ain't what I want. You see, I apologize, y'all. To the ground. Let me see. And the thing which is this reason, this might be. Let me see. Judah. Looking for that breach, burr. With those twins, y'all know I'm I'm close to it. And she put her widow's garments off her and covered her head. Time to open the place. Y'all stay with me. It's gonna be fire. It's gonna be fire. I'm just setting it up, y'all. I'm just setting it up. But she saw that she was grown. So it's all over God. Uh, it's going to be fire. I just got to set it up. It's been a long time since I was here. 
and she said it plays so this is a uh, Give me a second. Oh yeah, it's gonna be fire. I just gotta set it up. Let me return to you a second. I'm looking for that breach birth. Give show you what Esau did, and it came to pass about three months after that he was told Judas and Tamar, thy daughter-in-law. Okay, Tamar, which was Judas' uh, daughter-in-law had played the harlot and he slept with her right thinking that she was a harlot and uh, he didn't know that was his daughter-in-law also she behold she is with a child by whoredom Judah didn't know that was his child yet right? and said bring her forth and let her be burnt when we, she brought forth she sent her father-in-law saying by the man who these are am I with a child and she said discern I pray thee, who's these things, who are these, the signet and the bracelet, because that belonged to him, and the stab, that belonged to, to Judah. And Judah acknowledged them, see that, and says, she had been more righteous than I, because that I gave her not, she, he was supposed to give over his, uh, his uh, youngest son to her, because he promised her that. And he knew her again no more. And it came to pass at the time of her travail that behold, twins, this is it, y'all. This is it, class. We on point, class. Twins were in her womb. And it came to pass when she travailed that one put out his hand. Okay. And the midwife took and bound upon his hand a scarlet. She knew it was twins. A scarlet thread. Okay, and that scarlet thread, let's say that represents uh, uh, the chosen one. The chosen one. That scarlet thread, which was a red thread, which represents the blood, right, of Jesus. Saying, this came out first. And it came to pass, just like Jacob and Esau, y'all, in the womb. They was struggling in the womb. They was, these twins was fighting in the womb. For the birthright, y'all, that's how important a birthright is. This salvation is a birthright, y'all. Okay? I'm going to throw this in there. I'm going to throw this in. Which is the law of the land, y'all. This is who going to rule the earth. Y'all understand this? That's why Job 9.24 comes into play. The earth is given into the hands of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. The true judges are the children of Israel, right? But it's those that, what, make covenant with God, that marry God. Those saints that, what is that, Psalms 55, gather my saints, my elect unto me. Those who have made covenant with me, they married me. By sacrifice, the Lord became my husband. Genesis 3, 15, 16. Thy desire should be to thy husband. Okay, the Lord is our husband. This is how we get the dominion. This is how we rule the earth. Y'all getting this class? We making sense with it, class? Okay. And it came to pass, as he drew back his hand, that behold, his brother came out. You see this, class? This, this is the picture of Jacob and Esau in Genesis 25. The one that had the thread around his arm, he didn't come out first, but he was the chosen. He was supposed to come out first. And she said, how has thou bro broken forth this breach? Keep this in mind, class. This is a breach. A breach of birth. Esau, you breached the birth. Are we going to get there, class? Stay with me. This breach be upon thee. Right? And this bre Esau breached. He had a breach of birth, man. Right? So it, Jacob became what's called the firstborn. We get to Exodus 4.22. He was called the firstborn. He said, Israel is my son, even my firstborn. Tell Pharaoh, Israel is my firstborn. And when Genesis 25, Esau came out first, though. Right? Esau is a breach birth. He breached. This breach be upon thee. Therefore, his name was called Furaz. Okay, it was a breach birth. A breach 
birth. The brother had the thread. So Jacob and Esau, same thing. Jacob had the promise, the thread. Genesis 25. Let's go on over there and get it. Genesis 25, 21, right? Genesis 25, 21. I didn't know where I was going here. But Christ came to uh, repair this breach. That's where we at. Christ Jesus came to repair this breach, which is salvation. See, I might have to go part four with this video. This might be up to part four, y'all. And Isaac entreated the Lord for his wife because she was barren. And the Lord was entreated of him. And Rebekah, his wife, conceived... And the children struggled here. They fight. The twins. They were twins. Right? Right? They entreated the Lord. She had a problem with her pregnancy. And the children struggled together within her. And she said, If it be so, why am I thus? And she went to inquire of the Lord. And the Lord said unto her, Two nations. Look, y'all. Two nations are in thy womb. And two manner of people shall be separated from thy bounds. And the one people shall be stronger than the other people. And the elder shall serve the younger. And when her days to be delivered were fulfilled, behold, there were twins. Here we go, class. Ain't that what we just read? Twins in her womb. So this is going to be a breach birth. And the first came out red all over like a hairy garment. And they call his name Esau. Right? But the Lord knowing all things. Right? Already prophesied that the elder shall serve the younger. We read that, right? Right? The Lord already prophesied the elder shall serve the younger. And Isaac, let's read that again. And Isaac entreated the Lord for his wife because she was barren. This is Israel after the flesh. We are barren. After the flesh, we can't bear fruit to God. And the Lord was entreated. He heard him and answered his prayer and treated of him. And Rebecca, his wife, conceived like Mary, Mary conceived of the Holy Ghost. Right? And Matthew 1, 18. Jesus was conceived of the Holy Ghost because he heard us. We were barren. After the flesh... The 12 tribes were barren in the Old Covenant, Old Testament. But we kept crying out, crying out, crying out for salvation, right? That's what the whole book is about, the Bible's about, right? So he entreated us and heard our cry, and he sent us Jesus. What is that, Matthew 1, 20, he shall save his people from their sins. Matthew 1, 21 through 20, he shall save his people from their sins. His name shall be called Emmanuel, God with us. He's the prophecy of Isaiah 9, 6 through 8. Unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. Government should be up on his shoulders. His kingdom, there should be no end. Jesus is the prophecy. That's the uh, 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 woman. Genesis 15. The woman seed. Jesus Christ. The woman seed. The Christ. The Savior. Acts 13, 23. Our Savior. Right? To repair the breach. The breach of what? The covenant? The covenant that we broke? We broke the covenant. And the children struggled together within her. And she said, if that, if it be so, why am I thus? And she went to inquire of the Lord. Right? And the Lord said unto her, two nations. Here it is. We just had read it. Right? Verse 23. And he said unto her, two nations are in thy womb. And two manner of people shall be separated. God said this. Light and darkness must be separated. The Bible said, come out from among them, be ye separated. 2 Corinthians 6, 14-18. And he said, I will receive you unto my seat. He said, you should be my sons and my daughters. He said, I'm going to walk in you, live in you, move in you. Right? As the Christ, the Christ seed, the woman seed. In Leviticus 26. Verse 1 through 13. He said, my tabernacle shall be with you. My covenant shall be with you. My presence shall be with you. That's God with us. Matthew 1, again, 21 through 23. The prophecy of Jesus Christ. The Lord our God. 
right? Separated from thy bowels, and the one people shall be stronger than the other people. After the flesh, they are stronger than us. After the spirit, we are stronger than them. That's your uh, Genesis 4, 7, where we started. If you do well, right, you should rule over sin. But if you do not well, sin shall desire you. Sin will have you going to be fooled for sin. For the devil. You know, that's a, if we kept reading in Genesis 3, he told the devil, the serpent, dust shall be thy food. Dust shall be thy food. He told Adam, from dust you were taken, from dust you shall return. He came from dust and went back to dust. Right? But uh, Adam, from then on, had to start giving sacrifices. You know? We come from Adam, we got to start giving sacrifices. But the Lord prepared a sacrifice for us. In his image and in his life, he prepared a, a, a eternal sacrifice for us to take away our sin. But the law, the law, that first law, even the Mosaic law, that was as temporary. And it was we were waiting on the woman seed. We were waiting on Jesus the Christ to take away all our sin. What's our number one sin? Our infirmity. For we were falling short of the glory of God. We could never reach that perfection. We could not reach that perfection in God. Until the Christ seed, the woman seed. Which is our husband. Our husband. That means we got to marry him. Your Romans chapter 7. That's the body of Christ. The body of Christ. Then we become the body of Christ. He becomes our head once we crown him. Lord and Savior. One people shall be stronger than the other people. And the elder. Right. Shall serve the young. Why? Because he ain't got the birthright. The Lord. This was prophecy. Before they came out. Y'all. The Lord prophesied this. And when her days. And now we're going to part two. And when her days. To be delivered were fulfilled. Right? Behold, there were twins in her womb, just like Judah's sons with Tamar. And the first came out red, like a hairy garment, and they called his name Esau. But he's not the chosen. And we know he went on to sell his birthright, right? For time's sake, let us not go on any. Y'all Bible students, y'all know the deal. Right? But I'm saying that first law, that's Job 9.24, where the wicked rule the earth. That's Job 9.24. It said, and they cover the faces of the judges thereof. Right? Now, part two to that is when we rise, that's, your, that's our new covenant. Now, we rise, Romans 8, 1 and 2. We are the new world, the new heaven and the new earth in righteousness. Why? Because we condemn sin in the flesh as our Lord and Savior condemned sin in the flesh. That's what he came to do. Destroy the works of the devil. Right? We covered that. First John chapter 3. Jesus Christ came to destroy the works of the devil. Here it is right here. Romans 8, 1 and 2. Or 1 through 4. Let's go to 1 through 4. There is therefore now no condemnation. That's what we were in, in the flesh. Right? Right? To them, let's read it. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, the ark of God. This is the ark, the sanctuary. Who walk not after the flesh, that's devil's food. The desire of sin is to the flesh. The flesh desires sin too. Who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit, the new, the new man. God is a spirit. We 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 walk after God now. That means God is leading us through the power of the anointing, which is Romans 8 14 down here. As many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. This is the sure house. This is the sure house. Uh Jesus who walked not after the flesh, he that's death, sin and death. That law, that's the law of sin and death. 
That got to be our footstool. That'd be the title of this video. The law is now our footstool. The law of sin and death is our footstool. But after the spirit, we walk after the spirit now, which is a sure house. Now, the prophecy to that will be, oh, I hope y'all with me. First Samuel uh, 2, let's go get it. 35, 36. First Samuel 2, 35, 36. He says, I will raise me up a faithful priest. This is what we got to become, a faithful priest. That shall do according to that which is in my heart. Look, y'all. And in my mind. And Jesus said, love God with all your heart, all your mind, all your soul, all your strength. Mark 12, 29 through 31. And I will build him a sure house. This is the sure house. This is the Holy Ghost. This is the anointing of God. Right? That's what he's introducing us to right here. I will build him a sure house. He's introducing us to the Holy Ghost. Watch it. And he shall walk before mine anointed. There it is. As many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. Right here. Walk before mine anointed forever. That's what he told Abraham. Walk before me, be thou perfect. That's uh, Genesis 17. Let's get that. That's through the anointing, he's saying. And when Abram was 90 years old and nine, the Lord appeared unto Abram and said unto him, I am the Almighty God. Walk before me and be thou perfect. That's what he was showing him right there. That's before the anointing. That's the everlasting covenant. You, Abraham can't do this without the anointing. Without the without the covenant. For time's sake, let's go down to verse 7. Just for time's sake. Just for time's sake. Verse 7. Genesis 17, 7. And I will establish, see this? My covenant. This is with the anointed. Between me, this, which is the Christ. The woman's seed. Uh, uh, Y'all know Abraham's seed is Christ. Galatians 3, 16. And I will establish my covenant between me, which is uh, uh, the everlasting covenant, if I didn't say that. And I will establish my covenant between me and thee and thy seed, the woman's seed, Christ. Right? Before he told Abraham, he told us in Genesis 3, the woman's seed shall rule, right, over the serpent's seed. Christ shall rule over the devil and sin, which is our footstool. Right? And we read it in 1 Corinthians 15. Christ rules till he bring all enemies under his feet. God's enemies got to be under our feet. After the and their dream. That's how we do well. That's how we accept it with God. Right? But you got to marry your Lord and their generations for an everlasting covenant. There it is, class. To be a God unto thee and to thy seed after thee, which would be the Christ, the church, the church, the body of Christ. That's what Jesus said, I, I go to my God and to your God, my Father and to your Father. We can say that. The Christ, he's the God of his word. That's all that is. He's the God of his word, which is the book. We inherit the book, the volume of the book, Psalms 46 to 11. So we 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 let them uh reprobate strip talking about his name is not Jesus. They outside the book. They they darkness is their they water. See, they Satan's food. And they're ministers of Satan, servants of Satan. They Satan's children. That's serpent, that's the serpent seed. That's the serpent seed. Genesis 3, 15, 16. See, we at war with them. We the woman see the Christ. They serpent see the liars, the devils, the deceivers. They love lust. They love they John 8 44. Let's get there. John 8 44. Because I had another one in the and I, I kept talking and he, you know how to go mighty great land. You're gonna lose that. You keep talking. And I lost it. But I'll go with this one for right now. John 8, 44, it says, uh, this is serpent seed, y'all. He said, you are of your father, the devil. This is serpent, serpent seed, Genesis 3, 15, 16. And the lust of your father, remember it said, seeing live at your door, this is what they do. 
the lust of your father, you would do. For he was a murderer. That's what they are, class. They speak murder's poison, the poison of their words. The power of life and death is in the tongue, class. The power of life and death is in the tongue. They murderers. He was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth. Right? Because there is no truth and there ain't no Jesus in them. When he speaks a lie, they say, they say Jesus is not his name. We got the book, y'all. We win. We got the book. Hey, the book is the trophy. The book is the scepter. He speaketh of his own. For he is a liar and the father of it. He's a liar and the father of lies. Watch this, y'all. I'm on. Oh, you're going to really get blessed with this. You're going to really be blessed with it. We've done it before, but we can do it again. Genesis 32, 31. Yeah, I might have to go to part. Uh, I might have to do a series with this class. I might have to go to part four. Genesis 32. Is this what I want? Uh, nah, that ain't it. Uh, 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 Exodus, my fault. Not Genesis 32. Exodus 32. Just take a minute, Claire, sometimes. Get it right. Genesis 32, 31. Oh, yeah, it's on. And Moses returned unto the Lord and said, Oh, this people have sinned a great sin and have made themselves gods of gold, the hard head people. And they just told and God told them earlier, Don't make no no gods before me. No gods of silver, no gods of gold. They done had instructions. All right. Just like he tell don't uh, make no other gods, no images. They still doing that. Mosaic law, Hebrew Israelites after the flood. They done made an image of God. Right? They make an image. Right? And uh, he told them don't do that. Christianity has an image. Caucasian Jesus. Okay? Uh, the Bible said don't do that. And so they still, you see the disobedient. Because we got the book, y'all. The book, <laughs> we got the book, we got it is written. They don't have that. You know, it is written exposes the naked. They are naked. They not clothed with Christ, Jesus. Right? That's what we're getting into now, y'all. Yet now, if thou will forgive their sin, and if not, check this out, y'all. Check this out, class. Blot me, I pray thee out of thy book. We got the book. We got the book, y'all. The book is God. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same in the beginning with God. Oh, you coming up higher. You coming up higher with this book. This book is the law. This book is the law of the land, class. Just stay with me. We're going we gonna to probably take this to part four, class. Uh, pray, because I ain't going to get it all in this video. and My time is running out. I can see that, class. I pray the out of the book. We got the Bible, y'all. King James 66, red letter. We got it. This is God's book. Which thou hast, look, class, written. God did this. Jesus did this book. Jesus wrote this book. It's not given by private interpretation. It's not given by the will of man, but holy men, right, who spake and wrote as they were led by the Holy Ghost, y'all. We born of the Holy Ghost, y'all. We are the law of the land, y'all. Remember that uh, the Mosaic law, all that other laws are under our feet. These laws have become our footstool. We read that. 1 Corinthians 15. These laws have become our footstool. Romans 8, verse 1. Through, we supposed to go to verse 4, wasn't it? Romans 8. Uh, oh, this is so much, class. We I know we rolling. So much more to give, class. Let's finish it. And the Lord said unto Moses, Whosoever has sinned, look, class. Against me, him will I blot out of my book. That's why they ain't in the book. They sinners. When they cut all these coming with all these other names outside of Jesus Christ, they blotted out of the book class. They did it to themselves. They did it to they, and, and the Bible says they appointed. They appointed because of their disobedience. They did it to themselves because of their unbelief class. They did it to themselves. This book is for the Jesus believers, for the Jesus disciples, right? For the Jesus people, right? 
Therefore, check this out, Claire. Now go lead the people unto the place of which I have spoken. That's where he put his name. And Jesus said, I come in my father's name. That's what we're supposed to be 